and today I wanted to explain what exactly the tri-stick is and what it means to make one and why your knife should be able to do it and why you should too. So before we jump into this, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, but let's talk about it. So essentially what a tri-stick is, and admittedly tri-sticks and the kind of idea of making tri-sticks has kind of uh, been thrown on the back burner of a lot of bushcrafters and survivalists, and that's because primarily nowadays a lot more people are focused on the survival -y aspects of bushcrafting, so that is like making fires, building shelters, and doing those kinds of things, you know, and certainly there's nothing wrong with those, but when you're looking to do fighter crafts, i.e. building traps, making netting needles, your knife will be able, or will need to have to be able, will need to be able to make certain things or carve certain notches. So what the tri-stick was originally designed for, and it was kind of an idea pioneered by Morris Kohansky, was that your knife should be able to, you know, do certain notches and that you should be able to do those certain notches in a specific amount of time. Now, in this video, I'm not going to bore you to death by doing every single notch. However, I am going to leave in the description below a link to the PDF for Morse Kohansky's uh, tri-stick so that you can give it a try yourself. But essentially, it helps you understand your knife better, and it helps you know your capabilities with that knife and that knife's capabilities as a whole. Is it agile enough to create different notches, whether that's a pot hanger, a saddle notch, a latch notch, um, a square notch or a flat notch? Um, you know, there's many different types and styles of notches to make, and, you know, of course, we use them in different ways to build different things. There's things like dovetails and such, but um, all of them serve their own purposes, and the overall tri-stick as a whole is a good way to experiment with different notches, with a knife, and with your user capability. So it's a good test of you as a whole and as your knife. And so it does take a little while, but the overall time to completion is around 15 to 20 minutes to make all of the notches, or at least that's the goal for some people, especially beginners, people who have never made a tri-stick before. It will probably take a little bit more like 30, maybe 40 minutes, depending on how good you are. So... <laughs> So that's the ultimate kind of premise to the tri-stick. It's essentially a type of stick, and it can even be multiple sticks, where you carve a set or series of notches, and you don't have to carve all of them every time. Sometimes, if you want to just practice merely a saddle notch and a latch notch and a pot hanger notch, you might just try those on one stick. And you might also try a V-notch, you might try a square notch, you might also try, you know, rounding the top of the piece of wood. So this helps you, once again, with versatility around the camp, and also it helps you, uh, you know, expand your knowledge of different notches and gives you an idea of how and when you can use them. I know that when I first started making tri-sticks, I wasn't familiar with all of the different types of notches, and that one, some of them that I learned, especially things like the saddle notch, I ended up employing into larger bushcraft builds, mm -hmm. and it helps me become a more versatile or helped my work or projects become more versatile and more useful and higher quality as a whole. So it's definitely a fun experiment to try out. You don't necessarily have to do it every day, but I like to do them semi-frequently so that I keep up on my different notching experience should I need to use any of them for any given situation, from making traps to building projects to just overall camp life. So that is what a tri-stick is. And once again, it's something that your knife and you should be able to do as a bushcrafter.